The Center for Frontiers in Nuclear Science is uh, a joint initiative between Stony Brook University and Brookhaven National Lab. The primary goal in the short term is to help the development and realization of a new uh, collider that is being considered in the U.S. called the Electron Ion Collider. And its vision is to, uh, first of all, help realization by helping the potential users of the Electron Ion Collider as it becomes more real. And in the big picture, we want to make sure that we are training new blood into the scientific field through students and postdocs to get oriented and get into the field of nuclear science. So the Electron Ion Collider is a future collider in which we will collide very high energy electrons and very high energy protons and nuclei in order to understand how we are uh, built. There are different ways of studying the structure of matter. Uh, one, to use the electron to scatter off of protons and neutrons, as well as uh, nuclei. The other option is to look at very high energy protons colliding with each other, or have very high energy nuclei colliding with each other. And what we need to do in the future is to bring those people together from these diverse backgrounds who have done different kinds of physics. This center is aimed at bringing all those people with diverse backgrounds together, and that's what we are trying to do. My background is heavy ion physics, so that's where we accelerate and collide the nuclei of uh, the largest atoms, like gold or lead, and we're trying to find out by the stuff that we create how a system that's dense and hot uh, and governed by the strong interaction, how that behaves. My work is theoretical and I do numerical simulations of heavy ion collisions. We're trying to describe the whole evolution of a heavy ion collision from the incoming highly energetic nuclei and how we can describe them uh, to the collision and the evolution of the generated medium. So while I am working mostly on heavy ion physics, there's people working on nuclear structure, for example. And that's very important also for our field uh, because our results uh, that we get and our understanding of heavy ion experiments is dependent on what we actually collide. Um, my work in graduate school was related to studying the structure of protons and neutrons, collectively called nucleons, and how that structure is modified in, by the presence of other protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Previously, there's been this uh, kind of scale separation between nuclear physics and particle physics. My work uh, tries to bridge the gap between the, the, these two worldviews and actually ask the question of how nuclear physics effects um, can uh, affect the particle, the underlying particle physics. I study high energy uh, neutrinos, so we look for sources of high energy uh, neutrinos. It is believed that they are produced at the same sources as cosmic rays, so this is a relation to cosmic rays. Uh, and we want to answer the question how these astrophysical sources accelerate uh, cosmic rays just by looking at the different probe, and this is uh, astrophysical neutrino. Uh, I use high energy astrophysical neutrinos in two ways. One connects with uh, astrophysics, so searching for astrophysical sources with, uh, with high energy neutrinos, and the other one is utilizing these high energy neutrinos to probe nucleon structure. When I was in grad students, and I do correlations in different type of systems, for example, in, uh, in AA collisions, which is nucleus and nucleus collisions at the Large Hydron Collider. And also we switch to uh, a so-called spa system, which is the proton colliding with the nucleus. So I will carry on this type of correlation work at the center and for the future electron ion collider. We can do, do the EIC physics uh, even 10 years before is actually get built because there are a lot of work can be done with the current facilities. I think one of the most important things for doing research is to learn different things. In this center, they are hiring a lot of different experts from different fields, from different experiments. I think that's very beneficial. The center is planned to be a place where we want to bring people from diverse backgrounds of research experience 
as well as experimental and theoretical backgrounds so that they can combine their expertise to come and solve the difficult problems that face us for the next decade.